Now coming up at halftime we'll have the sounds of the game the Grambling State University marching band and the sounds of dynamite from Alcorn State catch both great bands and the sounds of the game will interview coaches will have stats and highlights all coming up at halftime you want to stay with us for that so from their own 34 yard line grambling with the ball for the sixth time in the first half Douglas with plenty of time. I was just saying, Bruce Eugene with plenty of time trying to get it to Chris Day. Chris Day did not hold on. He's got to make that catch there. I mean, you got one on one coverage to the outside. He does everything here but catch the ball. Good route, good, perfect throw. Hit him right between the eight and the one. That was the problem. <laughs> perfect pass. Split his chest. Bruce Eugene throwing bullets. But Day's got to step up and make that catch to. Keep his team in the drive alive because they want to put some points on the board before the half. Have another new group of receivers in there. That one was almost dropped, even though it was caught that time. Grambling on the reception was Corey Brownfield. And they're going to need somebody to step up and be a dominant number two and number three receiver. As much as they like to use three or four wide receivers on the field, somebody these young kids have to step up and say, I'm going to be the next Tremon Douglas. They had Abney and Harris, all those guys in there. And here's Bruce Eugene running again into the secondary, and he's cut down from behind, but not before he picked up some good yards. And it was Torian Parks who made the stop defensively, but it's a first down for the Grambling Tigers with 42 seconds left in the first half. And Clock running. And it's times like this in a football game where you really love having a great quarterback that can kind of steal some points for you right before the half and command the two-minute offense. Eugene throws a bullet across the middle, has it complete. Trying to split the receiver, but he pulls it on this time. And this is Tim Abney. Dropped the touchdown pass early. Yeah, good job there. They're playing cover two defense, of finding the soft spot in the middle of the Alcorn State defense. And Eugene threw a bullet to rifle it in between those two linebackers trying to cover the seam route. Tim Abney, a true freshman, he'll turn 19 a week from tomorrow. Eugene throwing a wide open touchdown from on Douglas. And as you said, with nine seconds to go, that's a good way to go into the locker room. <laughs> good job to get the momentum back to realize this is what we can do. The chess match was there, one-on-one -on -one coverage with Tremone Douglas against a safety. That's an unfair advantage for that safety because Douglas is just that good a route runner. He ran a beautiful Dino route, we call it. Faked the corner, came back in the middle to the post. Those two guys have chemistry. All those summers of throwing football every day during the summer paid off for them there. 51st career touchdown pass for Bruce Eugene. And the point after by Brian Morgan is good as you look at Bruce Eugene. Beautiful job of knowing where Tremone Douglas is going to get to find the middle of the field there. The recognition, great job of protecting by the line up front. And Douglas was open all day long. They couldn't cover him. A penalty is declined. The offense will accept the results of the play. It's good. You have to give a, a lot of credit to Jonathan Banks and Charles Wilson and Lance Wright. Look at the anchors right here. They're just Jonathan Banks not letting anybody get close to the quarterback. Can't even touch him. And Tim Batts just got beat on the inside move. As a safety, you're taught don't get beat inside. Make them beat you on the sideline, especially down there in the red zone. But when they're coming at you that fast and that good, let's not take anything away from the Grambling State offense.